what is up fam it's saturday may 11th yes i again failed to vlog all week i feel like my waist has just been so busy and it's like all the same stuff so i feel like it's like terrible content i don't know but really and truly i just need to treat it like a diary and show you guys what i'm feeling because once i start vlogging like things come out you know what i mean so i just need to it was my period week i'm really off too i just can't it's hard for me to like post on Instagram, come up with content, and just think of things because my brain is so like not focused and mushy during that time of the month. I don't know about you guys, but that's how I feel. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys this bralette that I'm wearing. Um, I've showed you the free people one that I wear all the time. This is an Amazon dupe that I got from nine dollars guys. This is the blush color. They also have it in white and black, which I ordered as well because for nine dollars, yes. It's Amazon Prime, so you get really quick, and um, it has free returns. Let's see the back. The back is really nice too. It's nice and strappy. It fits just like the uh, Free People one. Uh, I bought a small, and I wear a small in the Free People one. Now this one has a little bit of padding here, which is actually really nice. So I would say if you really want something like this, get this from Amazon. Instead of paying 40 bucks for the free people one, you'll be just as happy, honestly. And check out these shorts, okay? I rolled them up because they were a little long, in my opinion. Um, I just got them. I'm trying to get some shorts for... It's weird because my body is now different. I'm, you know, like 20 pounds heavier. So I have a different body now, and shorts are now, like, totally different. Like, I don't understand them. There's this, like, mom thing going on, and when I wear that, like, I got a big butt, makes my butt look bigger, makes me look fat. I can't even. So I've had, like, a serious struggle trying to find a pair of shorts. So I saw these, you guys. They're Tommy Hilfiger. Like, what? I didn't know he was back. So I got them, and um, they're super high-rise. I guess that they're supposed to fit like this. They're tight around my butt, but they're huge on the waist, which whatever. I think they're cute once I rolled them up, because when they weren't rolled up, it was kind of weird, but they look good. And look at my legs, dude. They're like tightening up really nicely. I feel like they look so much better than what they did last year before my procedure, and then with losing weight and like, I don't know if I've lost weight, but with extra cardio and stuff, they're looking good, right? My legs are looking good. Pretty happy with it. Hmm. Maybe I'll start lifting legs again. Probably not. Probably not. I'm gonna link this bra below because every time I post the free people one, people are like, oh my god, like I get so many messages. So this is on Amazon. I'll put the link down below so you guys can order it. I wear like a 32, 34D, and I wear a small in the free people one and a small in this one, and it fits perfectly. Um, it's not supposed to be super tight on the bottom. I guess maybe if you're proportional, like your boobs and your chest, it would probably be tighter, but I'm not, so things are never tight there for me, so. Ooh, here's a tip for you guys. Um, I haven't used this shampoo and conditioner in a while because I kind of forgot about it, but back when I used to do balayage on my hair, it's what I was addicted to, and I totally forgot about it, remembered, I was like, oh, Purology, okay, the Hydrate, which is the purple one. I got that one because obviously I want to try and keep my hair as healthy as possible so that's how we're stripping color off of it um, and it has made my hair so soft and beautiful like I didn't even straighten my hair I just blow dried it and not even I don't even know how to blow dry my hair so I quickly blow dried it and it's so soft I'm gonna curl it here in a little while because I feel like it looks better curled but it's humid AF outside and it still feels this amazing like I can't even explain to you how it feels so pureology if you need some health and softness for your hair I want to talk about drinking while on a cut or a diet I feel like that's something that a lot of people ask uh, when I used to compete two years ago I did not drink ever in fact I counted I could count the, the amount of glasses of wine that I had in a whole year um, which was usually under five it would be like on my birthday on my anniversary and that was it. Um, I never drank. I never went out either. Um, not because I got tempted to drink, but because I was just like too tired and like it just wasn't fun for me because everyone else was drinking so I couldn't find like a happy medium. Um, but recently, I would say the past six months, maybe a little bit longer than that, I decided to have drinks 
regularly with people, like once a week, I will allow myself to do it. And I'm going through this whole like summer shredding cut thing. I wanted to try and see how I'm trying to make this summer shred thing kind of be more maintainable long term. And drinking once a week is how that's going to be maintainable for me because if I just never drink and then I go out with people and I'm always a girl that doesn't drink like I know it doesn't bother people but for me you know sometimes it's a little fun to have and I never get wasted or like drunk I'll have like for this is how I drink okay I will grab um this is like a talking video now and I have no makeup on maybe maybe I'll come back later I'll come back later when I look prettier because I'm not even gonna lie, the videos get more views whenever I have makeup on and my hair is done. Okay, we'll talk about this later. Alright, so Saturdays is like a full rest day for me. I don't do anything. I don't do any walking cardio unless I absolutely feel like it. And sometimes I do, I feel like really bloated or just like mushy or something like that. Usually that's typically after like a vacation or something. Um, so I will, but I'm feeling pretty good even though I am on my period that time of the month. Um, I feel like this week, actually, I don't think I told you guys, but this week I started upping the intensity of my cardio. So I'm doing the same amount of time that I've been doing for like walking, which is like 45 to 60 minutes. I'm taking that time and like actually doing cardio where I sweat and stuff. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned this or not in my last video, but if I didn't, here it is. This is kind of my first full week of doing that. And I'm feeling like I'm seeing results like a lot faster. I feel a lot tighter. And it's kind of a little bit skewed because of that time of the month for me. So I, I, like half the week I was like super bloated and I knew why it was, but whatever. So I'm feeling really good. Definitely taking the rest day. I feel like my body needs the rest. I work a lot and I get up at three in the morning every day. So sometimes you just gotta do nothing. I like to start my day off no matter what, every single day. I always fill one of these up with water, stick some BCAs in it, and I drink a whole one of these before I even eat anything. So, and obviously that's open because I was going to take all my supplements. I'll show you real quick what I do. Boom, it's not that many. Not as many as it used to be. All right, so hair, skin, and nails, bio tip. Everybody takes this. Everybody should be taking this. <coughs> Ashton takes this, okay? Just take it. Uh, Dim, I've, I say this all the time. I've been taking this for probably about a year now, maybe even a little more, and it helps if you have like an estrogen um, progesterone imbalance and, and you're like estrogen dominant. Um, this is really good for reducing estrogen levels. I think it helps, but now I'm afraid to stop taking it, especially now that I'm seeing results. I'm like, ah, what if I stop? You know, so um, vitamin D, DHEA, I was I see a hormone therapist. They've got me on um, like a thyroid medication, and they also wanted me to start taking these um, to raise my cortisol levels because I guess it was kind of low. Um, so I've been taking that for about six months to eight months. I get to get my blood work done here pretty soon. I think it's like in the next month or two I'm due. Probiotic, I take one every day. Um, I mentioned in my one of my previous videos that I didn't know if it was working. I ran out of it and I didn't order any more. And that whole week I felt really off, like as far as my digestion goes. So I'm thinking it's helping. Because it's that time of the month for me, I like to take dandelion root and I will literally take this two to three times a day during that time of the week because I retain a lot of water. The periods are rough for me guys. Usually I'm on the floor crying and I also have to take, don't judge me for this one, but because I'm gonna get like a stomach ulcer or something. <laughs> I have to take ibuprofen every four hours. I take four of them, 800 milligrams, every four hours for like five days. Because if I don't do that, if I don't stay ahead of the pain, it will get so bad that I physically will vomit and like die. I will die. So, not healthy, don't recommend it, but I do it. Yeah. Really fun diet hack, sparkling water, particularly this Waterloo brand, which I think might be, yes, exactly what I thought. It's um, actually made in Austin. It's an Austin brand, a local brand, really good. I like this almost better than Topo Chico and they have like tons of flavors. This one's grapefruit, they have like coconut, lemon, they have lime. They've got like, at, they probably have like 15 or 20 flavors. There's zero calories, zero sodium, zero everything. Um, and they're just great for like, 
Like if I'm feeling kind of hungry or if I'm out with people like drinking these, they're so freaking good. So I bought them, they're kind of expensive. It's like five bucks a case, but definitely worth it. Sparkling water, I'm sure there's other brands that you can try. If you happen to find Waterloo, give it a shot. Like even just the plain sparkling water with no flavor is really good too, really good. I've been really obsessed the past few weeks, maybe a couple months, with having protein shakes in the morning, like that's my thing. During the week, Monday through Friday, I always use the, like a vegan protein, um, just because my gut is sensitive to whey and it does cause bloating, but whey tastes so much better. It tastes so much better. Like vegan protein is disgusting, no matter what I, no matter what brand you buy. So on the weekends, I like to make myself a delicious protein shake. And I've been obsessed with just like, this is a really easy combination. Um, I usually just do frozen strawberries, but I felt like doing strawberry banana. So I added a banana, unsweetened cashew milk. You don't have to put ice because I put a whole cup of frozen strawberries and that makes it icy enough. And then I've got, this is my go-to Fit Crunch Whey. This one is the cinnamon one. This is perfect for like baking or making anything. And even when you'd use it for making shakes, y'all, it's like ice cream. It comes out so good. And I've also been adding, and I do this every morning and evening, a scoop of collagen protein because, you know, cellulite, skin, hair, nails, it's good for all that stuff. As you age, you lose collagen. Um, so it's been, and it's a really um, great source of protein as well. It's actually way better than whey. Um, so substituting with collagen protein instead of whey, it just doesn't have the same consistency. In fact, it just gets clumpy in, in the uh, shake. So I you can't really substitute it. Whey is just the best to make something delicious. But, so I put this all in my Nutribullet, blend it up, and we'll show you the final product here in a minute. The thing about whey protein is that it gets so poofy and so creamy, and vegan protein does not do that. Look at this. Watch. Ugh, it's like ice cream. It's like ice cream. Look at how big that is. It's huge. Vegan protein doesn't do that. It doesn't do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and Instagram the shiznits out of this. I don't know how people on Instagram do this. You know what? I'm gonna use a smaller one. Me trying to be all like cool and Instagrammy. It's like, how do you do this? Is that aesthetic? I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and Instagram this right now. OOTD. It's raining. Wore leggings and then I put these boots on so my feet stay dry. Oh my god, I forgot. It's kind of cold. I probably need a jacket. And Ashley was like, oh, it's not gonna rain. It's not gonna rain. It's literally raining right now. I don't think you can tell, but it's totally raining. Today's outfit, just running errands and doing things like that. I didn't do my hair as you can tell because when I saw that it was raining, I was like, pointless. Pointless. So, I might do it later. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so Express Top that I've had for like forever. They're just comfortable and easy to use. These are the Takara leggings that I always talk about. The uh, liquid silk leggings. And I think these shoes are Allison of Olivia. Yeah, that's right. That might like glass call or something. But yes, let's do it. What is up fam? It is now a whole week later, like Saturday. May, I don't know. Hi. My vlogging game. I know, I'm a terrible person. Like, it's totally been off. I don't know what's wrong with me. I've just felt like in this weird funk. And I've been sick all week. I felt like shit. But we got it done. We're getting it done. I feel like I'm seeing progress. And I'm not as sick today. I feel like, I feel like it's been worse. My last clip, I was going to be talking to you guys about drinking and how I do that. And I was gonna drink last weekend, right? And kind of document that whole thing. Well. <laughs> Not drunk, ladies and gentlemen! Uh -huh. Get ready to get fucked up! If I'm being totally honest, because I kind of felt a little ashamed, honestly. I fucked up! I normally, okay, so here's how I like to drink. One, I will plan the whole day out and I try not to eat as much. So I'll get all of my protein intake in and then limit my fats and carbs. When I drink, I only drink one thing and that is it. And I only, and I never drink to get wasted. Like, I don't do that. I don't like being really drunk like that. I don't like being out of control. I don't like being dizzy and just not feeling good. Plus, 
you know, the next day I want to feel good, right? Okay, so I usually, when I drink, I have three to four tequila shots. Max, that's all I drink, is silver tequila, usually Patron or Espelon. And um, the last weekend, something happened. And I think, normally I don't plan on drinking, but I'm like, if I go out and I feel like I want to, then I will. Like, I must have been like super hyped. And something crazy happened because I had two shots. And I after those two shots, I was like, I feel really drunk. And I'm like so drunk. And I should have just like stopped. But then I didn't. And people kept buying me shots. And I don't ever drink like that. I don't know how many shots I had. Maybe six or seven. I don't know. But it definitely felt like shit the next day. So last Sunday, I was like dying dying like on the verge of throwing up i was hungover i guess i haven't drank like that and in, in fact i remember the last time i drank like that it was in 2014 yeah but guys i'm gonna do a physique update now i'm gonna show you guys where we're at of course like the next the two days afterwards i was definitely retaining some water and stuff but i told you guys that i was gonna do summer shredding and i wanted it to be more of like a i want to try to maintain a balanced lifestyle so something that i can actually maintain and while I, when I competed, I never drank. It was zero, like nothing, like never. I feel like, you know, in a social setting, it's okay to do responsibly, obviously. And, uh, it's good times. So I'm trying to incorporate and leave that one day a week. Quite honestly, I don't always drink every weekend, but leave one day a week where I can actually enjoy some drinks and still have the physique that I want, if you if you know what I mean. But I'm feeling really good, like I up my cardio intensity and I feel like I'm starting to see like real results. I've been tempted to weigh myself, but I'm not. Because I know it's just gonna like play with my head. I'm not gonna do it, so. Anyway, I'm gonna do a physique update here. I told you guys how I drink, my strategy behind that. Um, basically, you have to be really careful because mix mixers have lots of calories. So if you're gonna be drinking drinks, like I, to me, drinking drinks is kind of like a waste of calories what alcohol doesn't really taste good so if you do like vodka and soda like that doesn't actually taste good so why would you want to sip on that for like 20 minutes like nobody wants to do that take it as a shot hits you faster does the job it works better that way just my opinion so i don't know if you guys have a better strategy let me let me know let's walk into a physique update see what's going on get this video up because i missed last week i was just in this weird funk and i really apologize it's just been i don't know I need to get myself out of this funk. Right now I look bald. But, okay, physique update, let's go. So where are we at? I feel like my arms are definitely getting more defined, you know? I don't know if I've made progress. I'm gonna compare <laughs> from when I started to now and I'll put the comparison in the video for you guys so that we can see kind of where we're at. I'm also gonna show you pants I got from Fashion Nova, guys. Oh my God, look at this color. I also got them in like this neon yellow color, but they're kind of see-through in the neon yellow, which is really disappointing because I really wanted that color. Let me try these on for you guys and show you. Okay, so check out these Fashion Nova pants and they're they're supposed to be like ankle length, so they fit me pretty well as like a full length pants. Shut up here. Check the out. They're perfect. I gotta say small. They do have an extra small, but I knew it was probably gonna be too tight. Um, super cute. I'm probably gonna wear them with like white heels or something. But I'm really into these bright colors. And then the other color that I got. Yeah. I don't know if you can see how bright this is. So this is like a bright neon yellow. I love it, but it's like pretty see-through. So yeah, they were honestly like super cheap. I think I had like a coupon and stuff. So they probably came out to like less than 20 bucks. I'm gonna just keep them. I got this other romper. I'm gonna show you too. It's so cute. Check this out. Super adorable. Let me try it on. So I obviously would not wear it with this bra. Super cute, super lightweight. It's like perfect for summer. I don't have it zipped up all the way because I can't, but 
I can't reach back there. How do girls do this by themselves? Oh my God, the struggle is so real. But I'm definitely gonna wear a bra with it because it's really light and there's not like padding here, but it's got this like wire here so it holds this part up, which I really like. Um, with some sandal wedges, this would be so cute. Maybe even a belt, I don't know, we'll see. I love it, love it, Fashion Nova. I'll try to remember to like link all these things down below so you guys can find them real easily. These were so so cheap, dude. Like less than 20 bucks, I think.